That makes my face look normal, doesn't it? This is the Panasonic Leica 8 to 18 super wide angle f2.8 lens. It just came out like a few weeks ago. I happened to get my hands on it. I've been shooting with it for a while. And there's some good things and some bad things about it. What do I think of it overall? You'll just have to watch. So right off the bat, this lens is super wide. I mean, really, really wide. What you need to understand is just how wide this lens is. I am one foot from this lens. And this is how wide. It's so wide that it just distorts. And, and you know, honestly, there's no way to make a lens be wide without it distorting. The next step from this is a fisheye. And the fisheye is gonna have round distortion. So one way or another, you're gonna be distorted. How often am I shooting like this? Not terribly often. When you zoom really fast, the focus can't keep up. And you know, I don't expect it to be, uh, I forget what the term is. You know what, it's right there, right there. Overall image quality is pretty nice. It, uh, there's a lot of detail in the images, quite usable and I, mean, I like them. I wouldn't call it a contrasty lens. It's it's a little flat in its characteristics, but I mean, think about what it's for. I mean, you're not gonna do eight millimeter on a micro four thirds for your family portrait because your faces are gonna be distorted. Big wide open landscapes or, or just getting that super wide angle of like a hallway or, or some small room. I mean, it's gonna look great. Autofocus seems relatively snappy, except for that snap zoom issue. It is one of the things that I don't like about the uh, the whole design on these Panasonic lenses, is you're never actually controlling the focus itself. You're not even controlling electronically, because if you slow down, it goes into like a secondary mode, which is more controlled. So you could be turning it like this, and it go rapidly focused, and then you slow down, and you're having to turn it almost an entire rotation to get just a small amount. I'm sure that's for fine tuning, but you know what? Our brains are in tune to when we start turning it, we know what's coming into focus. We know just how much further to, to turn it to get it into focus. So when it switches into that progressive mode and it slows down, it throws us off. Now we're like having to hunt for it. It takes longer to get the focus. You want a super wide angle lens for the GH5 or GH4, check. You want a fast lens that's also wide, check. You want a huge zoom length? Nah, not gonna do it. As you can see here in the overall design, it's not a small lens by Micro Four Thirds standards, but it's not huge. I mean, it, it's got a big front element. I'll tell you one of the best features of this lens, it has a threaded front. This is eight millimeter threaded front for a filter, which means I can put a polarizing filter on. That's kind of nice. If you want to compare it to the other super wide angle zooms out there for Micro Four Thirds, you've got the Panasonic and you've got the Olympus. Now the Panasonic is a 7 to 14 f4, kind of slow, and you cannot screw on any kind of polarizer to the front. The Olympus 7 to 14, now that's an f2.8, but that is a giant lens. It weighs almost as much as the GH5. It sticks out a long way, it's really a big diameter, and you cannot put a filter on the front. So here, this is an 8mm, 1mm less wide than the, the other two. But it is an f2.8, so it's faster than the f4. It's much smaller than the f2.8, and you can screw on a filter. That is something. So overall, this lens, it's an f2.8. Now it is a progressive, so as you go narrower on it, it is gonna go all the way up to an f4, I believe it is. But it's f2.8 
at eight millimeters. And I mean, that's where you're gonna use this primarily. And it's fast. That's, that's pretty nice. Now the lens is priced a little higher than the, uh, the Panasonic and it's a little lower than the Olympus. But again, the features that I need, which is the super wide and F2.8, but I can also put a filter on it. Those are three things there that go together that you cannot get on any of the other two lenses. That means this lens is gonna get used a whole lot more than those other two would. Because let's face it, polarizers make everything look pretty. Don't I look pretty? I've been trying to shoot these reviews over a couple days, several at a time, so that I could kind of piece them together and make give it a different look every day. All right, well, I need to head home. I got to edit this video and a couple of others because I really need to get on the ball here. Too much to do, no plans. I need to work on planning. I'm planning out the sprinter build, planning out some of my nature stuff. I'm working on kind of a top secret project that I'm just not going to discuss. I've got a couple other projects that I'm working on. Man, that's just so much. Have you seen my bright tangerine revolver atom follow focus? I'm going to do a review shortly. I sure hope that whole thing was in focus because I had it on manual focus. <sighs> Technology. What a pain in the ass.